This is my version of bread pudding using graham cracker instead of the bread. So basically you want to have your mixture ready to pour over this. I'm going to tell you the, how I did this step by step. It's pictures as well, but I want to show you. Pretty much I used a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of, I mean a, a, ta a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of almond extract, and vanilla extract. Those are all tablespoons. A cup of milk and a half a fourth a cup of eggnog. And I poured it into the pan and I used one egg. And you want to have like a saucepan like that size. It's a good saucepan size. Or this one. That's gravy, <laughs> but just wanted to show you. And pretty much you want to, you know, mix that really well. You don't want your egg to cook. So you want to make sure you mix it really well as soon as you pour your egg in. Pour it to the side. Then you want to make sure before you put your um, bread pudding in, or should I say the version of my version of bread pudding, you want to make sure you have a saucepan and you put like a, a inch or so of water in there, like right here. This will keep this from burning. Anyway, and it makes it fluffy too. Um, but anyway, bottom line is this is what I did for now the bread pudding. Um, graham cracker I put first. Um, well, first I put the syrup, the chocolate syrup, then the bread, the um, graham cracker crumbled. Then I use a, a banana and a half and cut it in circles, and then I cut the circles in halves, and I spread that. You want to save some depending on the size of your your pan. This is just two layers, so I put some to the side. After you put your syrup, crumbled graham cracker. Your banana, you want to add your marshmallow. And then you want to do another layer of graham cracker, banana. And you want to make sure you mix this your mixture in. Now, of course, not that, <laughs> but the mixture I mentioned before. You want to pour that all over this and bake it for like 15 so minutes. You won't have to bake it long because it's not bread. And then take it back out and you want to add your marshmallows. And you want to drizzle again with the chocolate. And that's what that's my version of bread pudding using graham cracker and it is delicious. Let me give you a sample here. Look at that. Bon appétit!